Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I bring you ninjas and Sega. Before there was a revenge of, there was just Shinobi on your Sega Mark III. I like how he walked out from behind his own game cartridge there in the opening shot. From 1987, it's the Sega Mark III version of Sega's arcade game, Shinobi, the first one. The first of many. And definitely one of the more challenging ones. This game is tough. Shinobi will put you in your place. You've heard games described as NES hard, right? Well, that's Shinobi, even if it's on the Master System, or the Mark III in this case. Same thing. It's NES hard. This is one of these games that I like, but I'm not any good at. And it doesn't help that the first boss is like the hardest boss in the game. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but getting past this guy seems to be random. I think my favorite part of the game is the sound effect he makes while jumping. I wish I made that sound effect. That'd be fun, I'd jump everywhere. Shinobi is pretty basic compared to its impressive sequels like Revenge of Shinobi, Shadow Dancer, and Shinobi 3. It's an extremely rigid game, one that benefits from level memorization. The enemies don't really move around a whole lot. Eventually, I think you'll find the greatest challenge is the end bosses. Because once you memorize the levels, you'll get a system in place. The more of those children that you save, the more power Shinobi gets, the greater your life bar. Because as we all know, Shinobi fights for the children of the future of the world. One of the things with Shinobi is that you want to try to take out as many enemies from a distance as possible. If you get surrounded, it's easy to take damage, and then you get knocked into an enemy, and then you just get knocked right back into the same enemy, and until you're dead. So what I like to do is just tr try to kill everything before you even see it. Just throw a knife and then walk after it. That way, your knife or your ninja star or whatever will meet your enemies before you do, because you have shinobi skills. You can throw things very slowly. Speaking of shinobi skills, if you're a real ninja, you should have no problem with the bonus stage. If you rescue a certain number of children, you unlock the bonus stage. Throw ninja stars at the ninjas jumping towards you. I'm not sure I've ever actually completed this level. This is how you get magic, but you know, if I really wanted magic, then I wouldn't be a ninja, I'd be a freaking wizard. And that would be a different game. I love how it's believable in a 2D game that the bad guy can't just look up and stab you in the foot. He's just gonna sit there and throw that sword at the wall until you eventually throw a ninja star into his face. They're not that bright, are they? Also, as you rescue the uh, hostages or whatever, you also upgrade your power, your health, and your weapons. You get nunchucks and a chain and a grenade. Shinobi's a good game. I, I personally prefer the Sega Genesis ones, like The Revenge of Shinobi. If you've never played a Shinobi game before, start with that one on the Genesis or the Mega Drive. But the first Shinobi's really good too, it is super old school. So if you're collecting for the Master System or the Sega Mark III, you'll have no problem finding this game. It's really cheap out there, it's easy to find. And I've got a classic game room, shout out and thank you to send. Here's a crowd favorite, going all the way to Chris from Jersey City, New Jersey! Shinobi's a great game for your Master System or Mark III collection. I think it was surpassed by its excellent sequels, and the Shinobi game on PlayStation 2 is pretty cool, too. I'll be reviewing that soon. It's always a great time to rock out to some Sega Mark III here on Classic Game Room. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Shinobi was defeated by those stupid spinning carnival rides. Ninjas. They'll never learn.
Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max. Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder. Jeff Captain Dauntless Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip Sink Bale! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip Sink Bale! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.